Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Shadow of Someone's Garage. Now, I cannot stay on here for very long, but uh, I thought I'd go over some simple stuff here. We're going to do some little AutoCAD here. Now, for those of you who are just getting started, remember what your instructors told you. Uh, if you're start especially if you're starting with orthographic projections. Now, remember what you have to do your layers property managers because remember when you're doing a professional orthographic projection do not draw on layer zero that's a big no-no so create you so tell, I'll tell you what let's be a little fancy here okay layer one layer two layer three layer four and let's do layer five okay first of all Let's label layer one as line. Okay. We'll get to line we'll get to line weights later. But uh, okay, lines. Um I'll go with my favorite color, that's blue. That's cyan, but you know what it is. But all right, layer two. Okay, let's do let's do center. And one of the best things to do with center line is um, yellow or orange. I go with yellow because I'm used to it. Okay, layer three is will be hidden. And let's go. And hidden lines are usually red. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess I could have been all right with, um, okay, you know what, we'll, we'll, okay, layer four. Come on. Projection line, projection. Those will be your projection lines, okay? And layer five, that'll be your, Dimension and text. Dim text. Okay. And for projection, let's go with um hmm. actually let's go with this magenta and let's go dim text, let's go with gray. All right. Let's go back to this. All right, let's this online. Okay, let's keep that as it is. Now, for center line, go to line weight. No, 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 wrong one, sorry. Okay, go to line type, go to load. There's your simple center line right there. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, well, I'm a terrible teacher. Okay. Select center. And then, yeah, there we go. There, change it to center. All right. Now go to line top on this. Click load. Hidden. Just regular hidden. Okay. Click on hidden. Click OK. There you go. I'm not done with you yet. No. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted, but. All right. I just said it. All right. Let's do. Okay, let's keep that at fine. All right, let's do center. Oh, I messed up. Okay, center. All right, now with line, regular line, do continuous. There we go. All right. Uh, uh, all right. Projection. Let's look at this. Let's do phantom, okay? 
Click on Phantom. There you go. All right, now. All right, make sure that's online. Okay. All right, and you may have to do LTS for a lot of time scale. Get the dots and all, all to show up the way they're supposed to, but I digress. Um, click unit, type in units. All right, let's do. Now let's do this. Okay, yeah, let's do inches. Let's do 0 0.0, 0 0.0, make sure they're always the same. Okay, all right. Now, let's go over the line. All right, let's see. Okay, at 12. Angle 90. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's retry that. Okay. All right. Right there. There's our point. Starting point. Yeah. Yo. This is a nice thing about, I mean, some of my teachers didn't like it very much, but this is a nice thing I like about uh, the new types of AutoCAD. It shows you the measurements of your lines. All right, let's do 10.5. All right. Let's do... Twenty two at zero. That's your polar coordinates, remember. All right. Tag that. All right. That. All right. Let's do let's be a little creative here. All right, okay, heat line. Now, there's a method to my madness here, guys. Okay. All right, let's do offset. Okay. Let's do 12. I'll do. Well, that's too much. So let's do offset six. Actually, I'll do five. All right. Now let's do okay, offset three. Three inches. Three inches. Actually, actually, that'll do just fine. All right. All right, now there's your, now these will come in handy in just a few minutes. Now, let's do circle. Uh, let's see. Let's do three. All right. Let's, okay, I'm gonna do copy. Oh, wait a minute. Copy. All 
Alright. So let's shrink this. 2.5. There we go. Um, 2.5. There we go. Get them a little smaller. Alright, now let's do some offsets. Oh, this is going to be fun. Offset. Let's do one point, one point five. And that'll be, hey, that'll work just fine. All right, no, all right. Let's delete that. All right, offset again. And this time, let's do point two five, okay? Perfect. Now this will come in handy in just a few minutes. You'll see what I'm gonna do in just a few minutes. All right. Now let's tag this. Let's tag this. Let's tag this. Let's go up to line and click center. Hey, good. We don't have to. Good. You can see the line white. Good. All right. There's your center lines. All right, now, here's the complicated part. Or at least it, it will probably be the complicated part. Uh, first of all, let's go to dim text. Okay. Uh, where is the dimension? Right. Uh, well, okay. yeah, I am. Dim linear, okay, dim linear, okay. That. Okay, let's zoom in. All right, okay, we're gonna have to do, uh, dimension style, okay. Modify. All right. Text height. Let's do point five, and let's do center. So, uh, fit primary units precision. There we go. Uh, okay. That should be enough. All right, there we go, 22.0. I'll round it off to the next dimension. <clears throat> okay, dim lin, dim lin. All right, that'll. All right, dim lin. That's ten five. Okay. Now let's do that two point one. There we go. Okay, keep your dimensions nice and neat. Okay, good. 
All right, now we'll t we'll uh, we'll we'll deal with the radius and all later. Okay, there you go. Um, and that's basically yeah. All right, now let's do zoom extends. Oh no, we need a little more room than that. Okay. Okay, now here's where your projection lines come in. Oh, and by the way, if you want to, now that you've got the dimensions on there, go up to dim text and click freeze. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, turn off. Turn off. That's the last thing. You can turn your dimension, your, turn your lot, certain lines on and off. So, all right, line. Uh, you can just do. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's close that. Okay, copy. And don't worry about this. We'll uh, zoom in. We'll do a little bit. We'll do some CAD tricks here. Some that you probably already know, and if not, hey, at least you could say you, you're ahead of yourself in the class. All right, now, the zoom extends. All right, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, I'll go back to line and draw line right here. All right, now what we're going to do is extend. Now extend. All right, not to worry about those guys. And I messed up. Extend. Look on that, click on that. And see, that extends your lines. This will come in handy in a few minutes. Okay, now let's go. Yeah, okay, we're back to that. Okay, let's go to offset. Now, let's see how high should we? Tell you what, let's make it um, 1.5 inches tall. A little too small. Yeah, there we go. That's better. All right. All right, so let's look on this. This. Erase. All right, line. All right, repeat line. All right, now here's 
Now here comes the fun part. Well, this is going to be interesting. Okay, let's let's move this all the way down. I have messed up. All right. So. Yeah, let's do it. Let's keep it like that. All right, now let's go up to hidden. All right, now here we go. Notice the lines that go to, yeah. And don't worry, you can. You can turn these off later. As a matter of fact, if you want to, you just get copy. All right. There we go. Now there's your in lines. And those will come in handy in a few minutes. So those show where your holes are. All right, now let's go to line. And then let's go here. Now that I've selected line, let's turn off the in line all right now let's see which one is okay Rim. All right, that, that. Is that cool or what? I see. All right, now, no worry. All right, there's your hidden line there. So let's go ahead. And create an irregular line there because that will be there we go Slow Ram.
we'll just shrink this. This is not going to. This is not going to cooperate. All right, let's do a line here. There we go. I don't know why it's ah, right, that's just not, that's just not a CAD. Okay, now. Let's go back in here. Let's go back in here. Let's turn on hidden lines. See, there's your hidden lines. All right, now. All right. Now let's turn to hidden the line. Now let's tag these. I messed up. It's been a while since I did this. Okay. All right. Rim. Make this look a little more fancy. All right, that, now this is your bore. This will be your bore into your There's that. All right, now let's do offset. Let's do one point seven five. Yeah. Oh, that's too deep. Okay, offset. Let's do one point two five. Held it. All right, trim. All right.
Wait a minute. Hang on, guys. Alright. I'll get this right in, in, in a little in a moment. <laughs> Alright. Trim. It's been a long day. Alright. Now. From here. Here, from here, from here, and from here. Don't be afraid. All right, from here, and here, and here, and here. That I'll make it look nice, a little be tacky. But actually, I think I may have overdone that. Yeah, I'll take that over here, then over here, then over here, then over here. Ooh. Getting late. Okay. All right. There's your. All right. There's your holes in there, and that's all you need right now. So, and if you want to be a little more fancy, bring your silver lines down here. Later on, you later on your structures will show you how to be real fancy with these. And you will, and you, and you're gonna have to. All right, there's that. Okay, guys, now that's the first part of the projection. I right, tell so what, a little bit, I'll come back, and uh, and I'll sh and we'll do some more. Okay, right now I gotta get back to set to my work, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, I'm back for just a little bit. All right, now. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here and see what I did wrong. Thank goodness for my dad to correct me. Thank goodness. So this is how your hidden line should look. You've got a through hole. You've got... one countersink that goes down to here and this should be shown yeah remember this should be shown and then you've got a second countersink that bores down to here now remember now, now this is just a made up this is just a made up part remember but that's how it's supposed to look okay now another thing you reminded me that when you're doing this Remember, since this is a slope, and it's going to be a slope, um, this cannot be all the way over here. And I told, I told him, yeah, I knew that because I was gonna, I was going I, to raise it a little bit and just have it be a little bit. Okay, now that being said, all right. Let's do offset real quick. Let's do point two five. All right, let's do this. Nah, that's too that's too small. All right, offset. Um, let's do point seven five real quick. Do that. 
Yeah, that's better. Okay, now that that's done, let's do trim. All right. From that. All right. Then actually just this. Actually, no, you don't want to do that because that's how far the slope down the slope goes. Okay. There you go. All right. Now. Now, okay. Now, real quick, let's do. A rectangle. Actually, no, first, let's do, let's get the, let's turn on the dim, dimensions real quick. All right, now, let's do dim dimension linear. All right, let's find out how high this is. That's Four point five. All right, assign that to the dim text dimensions. Okay. Okay, and this is twenty two. Twenty two by. Okay. Actually, ten point five by four point five. Okay. So. Ten point five. Ten point five by four point five. All right, now here's a nice little trick. You know what? Because you don't have have to do, to select both of these. You can just select this. You select that. Copy. All right. Rotation. Okay. Go. Now let's line this up. All right. And now bring the center line all the way over here. There you go. There's your center line. All right. Now. To turn on our projection lines. And you'll be, you'll be doing a lot more when you're when you're projecting this. Sign that line to projection. Okay, now. Line. All right, this switch over to dim text. 
them linear. Measure this. What eight? Okay. All right, so we'll do an offset. What eight? Eight. Eight. All right. All right. And then that and that. On the bus. There, it's fine. All right, there you go, guys. Yeah, there you go, guys. We'll come back later on, and we'll do some. Uh, we'll we'll make this a little more fancy. But there you go. Oh yeah, remember always save your drawings. Okay. So. Ortho project, orthographic projection TMM. All right, there we go. Save that. All right, guys. That's all I got for right now. I'll see you in the next video, okay?